My name is David Daniel Ball and these are the headlines for Monday the 18th of October 2010. Today's tune is John Dudley Lavarick, a former governor of Queensland. And a Bible quote, The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only he will release my feet from the snare. Psalm 25, 14 to 15. And in headlines from Fox, Housing Chief Sean Donovan argues a national freeze on foreclosures could block first-time home buyers from entering the market, while ensuring bank-owned homes stay vacant and drag down prices in surrounding neighborhoods. White House Press Secretary ignores GOP claims that November will be a referendum on President's policies, saying 2010 is a local election in which Democrats will hang on to power. A year after talks with international community fizzled, Iran's president says he endorses new negotiations about Tehran's nuclear program, which the West believes is a front for weapons production. In the latest in a series of terror alerts for Europe, France's interior minister says warnings of a potential attack from al-Qaeda have been received in the past few days from Saudi intelligence services. Breaking news from news.com.au, former DJ's boss Mark McGuinness has confirmed there's been a settlement in the sexual harassment lawsuit against the company. A former chief of army says more work needed to be done to ensure there is a legitimate government in Afghanistan. Mining giants BHP Billiton Rio Tinto formally end plans for a $117 billion joint venture in the Pilbara. Victoria Police have suspended use of all point-to-point -point cameras on the Hume Highway after a fault was identified in the system. A Pinnacle Airlines flight was diverted to land in Fargo due to a suspicious person on board. From New South Wales and the ACT, the New South Wales Attorney General will talk to the Health Minister about a woman's bid to use her dead husband's sperm to conceive, like we need big government to tell us what to do. Unlawful arrests and police assaults have cost New South Wales taxpayers more than $2.7 million in payouts in the past year. The weather has changed so much in the past week in New South Wales with summer temperatures, freezing winds more akin to winter and rain. Sex offenders would be monitored with snap raids and more under proposal for a new standalone court. From Queensland, in the wake of Brisbane's latest floods, new figures show more than 7,000 homes would be at risk of inundation in a 150 year weather event. Half of this year's 1,700 nursing graduates are unlikely to walk straight into a job, but in four years there could be a shortage of 14,000 nurses. Queensland could lose some of its most talented future teachers if uniform OP cutoff for a Bachelor of Education is introduced, academics warn. Queensland household incomes are struggling to keep up with the rises in living expenses and people are finding it difficult to pay for energy, a poverty survey found. From Victoria, a technical glitch has forced police to switch off all point-to-point -point speed cameras along the Hume Highway. Victorian MPs may face a recall to Parliament for an inquiry into John Brumby's $100 million spin machine. Probably didn't mention that before the last election. From the Northern Territory, a 12-year-old Northern Territory girl went into cardiac arrest caused by septicemia of the leg after lying on the dirt in her foster carer's backyard for eight hours, unable to move. From South Australia, hundreds of graduate nurses could be left without jobs, doctors and nurses have warned. One in ten Australians now live in poverty as families skip meals and struggle to pay essential bills, a Salvation Army report says. The Gillard government has backed away from its promise to do what is necessary to restore the River Murray, saying it is premature to do so. From Western Australia, Liberal MPs have backed the Greens and Immigration Minister Chris Bowen to examine the plight of up to 700 children in immigration detention. Highly misleading. In fact, they don't back the Greens or Minister Chris Bowen at all, but they do want to examine the plight of the 700 children in immigration detention. And from Tasmania, there's nothing new. In comments from Larry Gatlin, there are no atheists in foxholes or in coal mines. By Jeremy A. Kaplan, Robert Jetpacks in the works. From Edmund Tadros, U.S. Economic Fix, Print Money. From Tim Blair, Stairway to Kevin, Inappropriate James, Bulban Beaton, and Bill Chilled. 
from Andrew Bolt. Are all global warmest hypocrites or just the most famous? Gillard spends to mop up the mess Gillard caused. Modeling? Labor loses another $45 million on a fool's errand. The sliming of a skeptic is finally too much for even Wikipedia. Victims miss out on the cash Fraser Kirk offered. Little hope, so lots of change. So this water rage isn't Howard's fault after all. The plastic green, Gillard's Greenpeace government. And more for you there at the links.